Home sales are way down, down 16 percent, and that's all over the U.S. in the Northeast, Midwest, South, and West. Down double digits, everybody. Hey, I'm Jill McDowell with Market Monday, a time to educate you on the real estate market. So there are two factors driving that number. Number one, it's low inventory. You've heard this before, meaning there's not enough homes on the market. And number two, mortgage rates. And that's really unfortunate to buyers right now. And to some extent, it can be unfavorable to some sellers who would become buyers. Because honestly, the sellers who are sitting on a 3% mortgage don't want to give that up and buy a house with a 7% mortgage. My fence-sitting sellers, and you know who you are, you are in a prime position right now to put the house on the market. You're going to get the best price with the least amount of contingencies because there is a, still a very strong buyer demand and not enough houses to sell. Many homeowners are staying in their house because of the mortgage rate. But if you decide to list your home now, that gives you a whole different advantage because again, with less houses available, it's less competition for you. You'll get top dollar for your house and also remove some of the contingencies in the negotiation. So in some local markets, prices are coming down a little bit. I see that in my market in Suffolk and Nassau counties. Um, and you'll see, you might see it in yours, right? Now there's a little nugget of information here for you. For the first time in seven years, the amount of new listings coming to the market between July and August of this year increased instead of decreased. That's odd. But it might indicate that sellers who really need to move are finally deciding, you know what, I can't wait any longer. I don't want to wait any longer. Or why am I putting my life on hold? And buyers are saying, I need a house. I don't really care at this point what the interest rate is. People are surprised that even when mortgage rates hit 7, 7.5, and now 8%, the buyers are still out there. But the reality is that some open houses are still busy. There are lines around the block in some places. So buyers are still out there, and it seems they may have gotten over the sticker shock. Some experts believe that mortgage rates are going to drop by the end of the year in the sixes, by next year in the fives. Well, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, right? I do think because it's an election year next year, it's going to drop a little bit.